So guys, we're in Beppu, Japan's biggest premier hot spring resort, and tonight we have got some fantastic accommodation. We couldn't fit this in the big Abroad in Japan Wacky Weekend episode, so go and check that out. This video is just a tour of one of the most insane places I've ever stayed in uh, with Connor, and he is waiting for us on the other side of the door. Let me in, show us the room. All right, if you were to ask very nicely. Oh dearest Connor, please let thee in thy fucking room. Come into the room. really expensive real cabin. Right. I definitely pay. The first thing you notice is it smells like a toilet. That's not because Connor's here, it's because Bethu has so much sulfuric gas literally pumping right out across the town. You know it's a big deal when the entrance is bigger than the average Shinjuku apartment. <laughs> this is huge. It's bigger than my bedroom. This is massive, like this is so excessive, but Hey, I mean... Excessive like the man that stands in it right now. Say, are you ready for the room review? And I'm I will ready. warn you viewers, this is huge. First of all, room number one, not big, in it? It's just wow. big because we can have it big. This isn't even where you sleep. Now, typically, if you're in a room like this in a normal Ryokan, this is where your beds would go. Can you fit your ego in here, though? You can't, but that's why we have another room <laughs> the exact same oh size. Oh my God. Just in case you love giant TVs, um, here you go. This is the Panasonic one inch. I want to just say, this is easily the fanciest tea set I've ever seen in a real cup. Look at this. This is yeah, like a sake cup. That's so nice. We also have some chips here that come with the room. Should we give it a taste test? Green cookie biscuit. Oh, mm. that's a sesame sandwich. Sesame, and it's a seaweed, nori flavor. Mm. This is your his and hers bathroom. Um, I guess. Whoever's the biggest hands or face or whatever gets the smaller one. Or well, you've got abnormally, abnormally long know. arms, so you can have the little one. Yeah, normally, you know, a lot of the time when you come to Ryokan, it's like a couple thing. You don't really come to guys normally, that's quite rare. So there's normally <laughs> his and hers. Um, some fancy soaps. These soaps, which I'm definitely stealing. Every time I come with Connor, I come to the bathroom at the end, I'm like, oh, I should take some of this soap home, maybe as a, a gift to Charlotte. And he's like, oh, I've got it all, that fucking you thief with a sack over his shoulder. Off he goes, kind of thing. Snooze you loose. Is that a urinal? <laughs> it's a urinal. <laughs> I've never seen a urinal in a real camp before. Did you notice they're automatically opened? Fancy. I did, yeah. I but which, but, I mean, choices, which one to go for? It's tough, really. Um, you know, whichever one makes it work, really. <laughs> the biggest bath area I've ever seen. This entire area is your shower. Now you might be wondering, what is that medieval contraption we have here? Um, <laughs> it does look bad. It looks very bad. Yes, yeah, yeah, so it's a one person sauna. Oh my God. So you sit in there, as you can see a bunch of steam comes you, out. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it later. Not now. Get it now. Well, no, I'm wearing get it clothes. Now. I'll do, do it, it later. We'll do it. Shut up. Go. And then obviously once you're done with your sauna, you'll want to take it back. That's a really nice looking bar. But obviously, right? You don't want to be a peasant. Who wants to bath indoors when you can have an outdoor bath? <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh my God. You could fit five people easily in this. So this is your onsen. Um, that is also outdoors. It's not the so much shame. an onsen as a swimming pool. Yeah, it is. it looks really deep. Well, is that an actual swimming pool over your shoulder? Yeah, well, so obviously one of the main draws of this room is that you have your very own swimming pool. Oh my God. Where's the water, Connor? Well, Miss Chris didn't pay for the water. <laughs> no, so... Uh, <laughs> that's your extra that's, yeah, it's, uh, So yeah, they only fill it up in the summer. Aww. But obviously, I mean, you get a different experience. Obviously being out here, it's nice and cold. Getting in the bath outside is awesome. It's a bit of a shame, really. I feel like they put this giant barricade up so you can't really see anything of Beppu. But I will say, so far, Really impressed. The outside onsen is awesome. Connor with all of his friends. I've got to sell my apartment this week. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, kind of makes the room worse by having it kind of insulting. It does. They should cover it or fill yeah. it with like balls. It's unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> We're to ball pit. Imagine the, the world's biggest ball pit in your room. Anyway, it's a really nice bath and I'm going to enjoy it a lot later you bet on. You, are. you know I am. And this is the first time in a long time both you and I can fit in it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised, quite frankly. It's romantic, romantic, isn't it? Romantic? Don't say that, no, oh. no, no, no. All right, so, this is really unique for an onsen. We have chairs- Sun that lounges. Are, yeah, lounging around, and also full-on couches. Like, this whole room is, you just never get this in real camp. This mm -hmm. is super rare. Get on the therapy couch. What seems to be the problem? He makes me get in the bath on camera every time. <laughs> I don't have a choice. He says, get in the bath or I'm not paying you anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% the kind of Ryokan you want to save for two days, just so you can really just sit around and just enjoy as long it. as I'm not yeah. fucking paying. As long as Chris... Oh, oh, honestly, you One should, night's all right. Two should, nights. You should get Chris to pay. All right, 
Let's go and see the bedroom. Oh, separate beds. Thank really God nice, God. spacious beds. Yeah, because in Japan, love is dead, so they never have double beds. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's There's not kidding. never double beds, <laughs> ever. So obviously you're going to be enjoying the onsen. More often than not, the onsens on like the higher floors or somewhere mm. else in the building are often really nice, and you might want to go check them out. So you're going to wear your yukata when you do that, and they can lay down on the bed very nicely. Is and it big size? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's one size fits all. I always get the one that doesn't fit me and makes my chest and stomach look like Mount Everest. So I fucking hope it's the right size and stuff. He also said, by the way, you can have whatever you want in the fridge, it's free. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just water and apple juice? He literally, he dead ass read to me. He looked at me and he goes, this is all free. I was like, <laughs> what, the apple juice? <laughs> and the water. Because more often than not, in higher end Ryokan, especially if you get the bigger rooms like this, they'll have a, a fridge full of beer and other alcohol that you really, you know, mm. it's kind of hard to get through at all. Um, but yeah, no, there you go. Some water, also obviously some coffee, which is nice because sometimes they don't have coffee. As long as you're not fucking making it again. I'm it's a great- It's weak coffee. I'm, what do you mean? I'm, well, Connor's coffee's an atrocity. It tastes like flavoured water. I'm the best Starbucks you, barista in the business. The worst barrister. Barrister. <laughs> but obviously, the best thing about this place is that, I mean, look at that view that you have from your bedroom. Obviously, it's really nice to be sleeping or resting, waking up and just seeing all of this onsen steam it smells, billing out. It smells horrendous. And it's not it's not you for once. Problem is... Look at it. Problem is that all smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> if you don't know, you've never been to a sulfury place. It just smells like rotten eggs. It's not good. I don't know. The people who live here in Beppu, their blood must be different. Their body composition must be like 30% sulfuric acid. The thing is, is that if you stay here for like a few days, your clothes will start to reek. I think, well, I think they already do. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. I, 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 I don't know how they deal with don't, it. Don't bring your finest wear when you come to Beppu. Bring any old set down for that. Don't, don't bring the good clothes. Yeah. Bring the shit clothes. Well, we've had a good tour of the room. Thank you, Connor. You did a great oh, job as always. I say, I'm an expert. Let's not, let's not go too far. Probably the but best on YouTube. Again, going too far. Family but fair? I'm just, me. just stop I'll talking now. Right. Okay, I'm years. getting in the private onsen thing. This looks like a medieval torture device. Oh my God. Lay a towel down and get naked and go in. Get naked. <laughs> How's it feel? Does it feel like this one? I mean, it's very sulfuric. It's hard to breathe because the steam is being funneled up <laughs> through the top of this, right? Yeah. So you take a breath, you're getting the sulfuric mm. steam. It makes you look tiny. Makes you look tiny? Yeah, it makes oh, you look like one. So yeah. Head now, so skinny. I just wish they had a window or something. It's kind of really like, like if you if you just if you were <laughs> this is such a creepy shot. I, I mean, it's interesting. Would I buy one? Absolutely not. Would I use it again? No. It's literally just like, how many times can you smell your own fart challenge? Because right. it's just sulfur. Like, does it, it like you're just a, you're just stinging? You know, where a sauna is kind of an intense heat. This is kind of like. Someone is lightly like blowing the kettle steam. It's on making your, your eyes red, though. Probably because it's sulfur. Also, I'm tired. <laughs> so, yeah, I, mean, I honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought it was going to be more like kind of feeling like a sauna, but it's just a mild sauna. My legs are kind of hot and I'm breathing in farts. One to ten? Three. And Moses said, let's part the Red Sea. As far as your cameras are being swept away. In winter and autumn, any time that's not summer basically. Outside hot springs are just the best thing yeah. in Japan, in my opinion. And even then in summer, right, you can kind of get a bit of air mm. flowing. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's fine. I'm definitely yeah. a solid six out of 10. Does the job, <laughs> nothing nothing fancy. It's a good pen. Have you ever been in an electric onsen? No. No, I have. They basically, some onsen, they run a small current. Yeah. Electric current, I'm shit you not, through the water. And it, it's, it's, I remember it going in once, my, it, yeah. my body started tingling. I was like, am I having an allergic reaction? Why would you do that again? Just to kill you. So I, I don't know, it's supposed to stimulate muscles or something like that. But it just feels like, what if someone knocks the generator or full power? <laughs> so we're in the outdoor bath now, and it's rather nuts. With the, the steam yeah. behind us, right? This steam looks so ominous. <laughs> It really does. It's the final boss but Wacky Weekend. <laughs> well, at least we're here right now. We're chilling in the bath. Yeah. And this has been a great 
experience. What was the Strength highlight of Wacky Naked? Weekend? Well, I think uh, the Snow Monkeys are the highlight. The Snow Monkeys, yeah. everyone loves that episode. Yeah, yeah. It's such a cool episode. Snow Monkeys. I actually yeah. really liked our first episode on a board in Japan with the Scarecrows. Yeah, it was really and good. And the, the, really the town that sort of just disappeared and Scarecrows have taken over. Or, uh, and the and the dodgy bridge that was collapsing in the rain. Oh, that one was yeah, not fun. That wasn't fun. Or the bungee jumping, which yeah, Chris definitely did, right? But I did do that. Yeah. Do that next year, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't good. No. I'm, yeah. I'm fucking... It was. It was. What about uh, champing? Going camping in a church? No, that was awful. That was the highlight that was of the terrible. year. That was the worst one. I must admit, of all the videos we've done, that was the most surreal. Waking up at two a.m. Right. And you know when you wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, a little bit disorientated when you go somewhere for the first time? I, I would say... I woke up and I was like, just heard this really ominous creaking noise. It was the most shit. It was, it was alright, it was the most sloppiest wacky like, weekend. Because to be fair, in my defence, we did it Jubilee weekend, right? Oh. The Queen's celebratory weekend. Uh, and it wasn't that, it was just that everything sleeping was in a church sucked. <laughs> no, 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 it was once, once in a lifetime. Well, well, I'm sure after. we'll have many more adventures to come. Well, but uh, as always, guys, mate, thanks for watching Thank the you. channel and uh, supporting Wacky Weekend. We'll be back with our wackiest weekends yet, I'm sure, providing we survive this one and the one we're about to shoot with Connor in Fukuoka tomorrow morning. Oh. For now, guys, all the best. See you later. I'm getting cooked <laughs> alive like an onsen. Right. Well, Get me out of here. Shabby, 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 shabby sea dog. <laughs>